we will start with a 220 by 80 millimeter rectangle. To determine the center third where the logo will be placed, open calculator and divide 220 by 3 this equal to 73 millimeter. Draw rectangle and change width to 73 millimeter. Press shift, select the main rectangle, then align center horizontally. Now with two point line tool, hold control and draw a vertical line. Select pick tool, shift and select main rectangle and align center horizontally and vertically. Select freehand tool. Snap to center line and draw the shape you want. Select two point line tool and draw a horizontal line. Start from center to the edge. Zoom in. Select shape tool and fix the curve. Select Blend Tool, click on the curve and drag to the horizontal line. With Pick Tool, right click and break blend apart. Ctrl plus G to group lines together. Now with right mouse button, click, hold and drag to left, release mouse button and select Toppy here. Mirror horizontally and snap edges together. Delete unwanted shapes. Now we want to create a backfill. So select the lines, shift select the rectangle, control plus C to copy, open another page by pressing the plus sign here, control plus V to paste, select both and ungroup, delete all lines except the top lines. Select both and combine together. With shape tool, drag nodes to connect them together. Select smart fill and click here to create a closed shape. Control plus X to cut. Go back to main page. Control plus V to paste. Right click, order to back of page. Change color. Now select the main rectangle, right click, order to back of page, fill with color. Select the lines and with right mouse button, change stroke color to same color as back. Now select the logo and text. Change color. Shift select the background and align center horizontally. Remove stroke by right mouse click. Select the lines. Control plus X to cut. Select the background and remove stroke. Control plus V to paste. Now draw a circle. Fill with gradient by click and drag. Change gradient type to elliptical fountain fill. Snap to center and scale to fit. Change colors by drag and drop. Change to darker color.
scale and make another copy, but smaller. Make another copies with different sizes. Select all and arrange them as you want. Select and duplicate to the other side. Mirror horizontally, select all, Control plus G to group, shift select background and align center horizontally. Now make copies and try different colors to the design. Here, we want to change gradient color, so drag colors and drop as you want on one of the shapes. To apply the color to other shapes, the best way is to save the gradient color, so double click on fill color to open edit fill. Now press the plus sign here, type any name and click save, then press OK. Now select all shapes and apply the fill to them. Now to warp the design to fit on our die line, select the design. Go to bitmaps, select convert to bitmap. Make resolution 300 color mode to RGB, press OK. Now select Envelope tool, delete middle nods, select all nods and convert to lines. Now snap corner nods to die line corners. Now select all nods again and convert to curves. Hold the top edge of the design and drag up to snap to the middle node of the top edge of the die line. Do the same for the bottom edge. That's it. Hope you enjoy the video and learn some tips and tricks from it. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe and like. See you soon.